All right, I'm going to create a variable called x. I'm going to assign it the values of 7, 8, oops, 7, space, 8, space, 9, semicolon. And then 5, space, 6, space, 7, close, square brackets. Enter. Now I have a two-row array, two by three, two columns, three rows. I want to take this data, which is now being represented over here in the right-hand corner by the variable x, and I want to uh, put this into Excel. Well, how do I do that? Well, I have in I have a spreadsheet in Excel called Quarter One. Pardon me, Quarter Two, and it's in my C drive in the root directory. I'm going to go put it here. That's right. I'm going to put it there. Yeah, Run about there looks good. And okay, let's do that now. I go over here to the upper right hand corner in the workspace area. I'm going to right click on, whoops, right click. It's not too easy sometimes. Right click on that X variable and then click on open selection. Open selection. Uh, let me put this in a little bit so you can see that. Right click, open selection. And this grid opens up and there's all my data. That's associated with X, 789-567. I highlight it, right-click, and I copy. Now, I'm going to get my Excel spreadsheet up here. Click on this guy. Right-click and paste. Let's do paste special. Unicode text is fine. OK. And in it goes, 789.567. That's amazing. We can now take this data, and I can make formulas out of it, equal sign sum of a2 dot dot a3, close parens. And there we go, 7 and 5 is 12. I can then copy this formula that adds up the two guys above it. I can copy that to here and there. And I get 8 and 6 is 14, 9 and 7 is 16. It changes automatically the columns to C in this instance, B in this instance, and this was already A. So that's how you uh, transfer data from MATLAB into Excel. Well, that's one way. All right. And that about does it.